And on the bench today, we've got a, a nice little calculator which has been sent to me. It's a solar powered calculator and it's been under the lights and we press power on and uh, a computer turns, it doesn't boot up. So my guess is that there is either something wrong with the keyboard, uh, which is holding the contacts on and it's flattening the internal battery or the internal battery's gone or the solar cell has um, worn out. Um, we we'll just try a high powered light on there, see if that uh, makes any difference to the display. No, not making any difference at all. Turning it on, nothing's happening. So my guess is there's an internal um, problem. Let's have a little look, see if we can get inside it. Oh, three screws, uh, three little screws on the back. That's a little bit too big, that screwdriver. Let's try. All right, is that going to come apart? I'll get a spudger on it if I don't have to. Oh, something just went pop. Let's try spudging it a little bit further. Yeah, and our little plastic clips are all down the side. And that breaks apart. So, that looks like uh, the solar cell. <laughs> well, that's interesting, isn't it? There's a solar cell that sits in there. But there's nothing for it to connect to. So it's basically a sham solar cell calculator. Okie dokie, so is that just all keyboard? Yeah, it looks like it's all just keyboard. My guess is there's a calculator in this part. And I bet there's a battery in here. And I bet that's what's gone wrong. Now, a bit of a swizz that, somebody buying what they thought was going to be a solar... Yeah, there it is. There's the problem. One flat battery, I would guess. Let's get me battery tester. And we put this onto a button cell and we get the battery and we look at it and the positive is on the big side as it usually is so we put the positive on there and the negative on there and oh it has actually got some power but not very much so let's see if we've got a replacement battery now, years ago from a company called seven day shop i bought this pack of batteries and looking at it the particular battery that we want is probably the most common which is why we haven't got any so it's a uh, 389a um, 386a so we haven't got anything like that but that one is is that the same diameter yeah roughly it's going to be the same voltage Yeah, that was okay. So let's pop that in there. And lo and behold, it's working. All right, the keys have fallen out, but there we are. Definitely that's the answer. So let's pop that battery in there. What a cheap and nasty bit of rubbish. Right. Let's 
be a bit more sensible and pop the back on temporarily. So we can test it, that's off, so that's on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus one, two, three, equals. Yep. On clear, 22 divided by 7 equals, yep. Well yeah, I've got all the keys in the right place and it's all working. Let's clip it all back together, if we can. Oh, we do that. I've got to put the false <laughs> solar settle back in there. I mean I don't know why I bother putting that in there but I mean it's just it's not even a piece of solar cell it's just a piece of plastic that looks a bit solarish. Together, tighten up the screws as tight as we dare tighten them. Things with these cheap plastic Chinese things, if you over tighten the screws, you just break the plastic. And there we have working calculator. Right. Having that battery in there is just obviously a little bit too much. If it works, works at an angle, yeah. Right, we're back with this calculator. I've now uh, gone and got some uh, batteries uh, which should fit. So uh, we'll pop a brand new battery in there. And uh, obviously a quick little job. So with through this uh, fast forward, taking the screws out. couldn't leave this great big thick battery in there because it would be too fat so one of these new batteries here which is the right size we'll go in there and do the job much better put that back together yeah that's much better So there we are, put the battery in and uh, it's all there, turn it on and one, two, three, four, five, so yeah that's all working nicely and I think the uh, customer will be quite happy to have that uh, working again. Thanks very much for watching this quick little video, bye!